Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode in this let's play of Jusson. So this isn't actually quite where we left off. But I think it's close enough. Give our companion some love. That's nice. Alright, so we'll take the elevator back up. And then... Hmm. Where was I? So, we took up the elevator. We went... And we turned that thing on. And then I guess we came out here. I don't think we read this. This octave, we are celebrating the safe return of Expedition 34 to the port. The expedition was led by Cory, who once again braved a horizontal world. We are proud to welcome these children of low tide, who are returning with a priceless treasure back among us. The members of Expedition 34, descendants of the celebrated Hur, Iga, and Ime, who were the first to venture out onto the Great Plain in search of the Lost Ocean, walked further than ever before and were finally able to find a new spring after numerous failed expeditions. A fresh start for many villagers who've been waiting their turn since the furnaces and fumarolia oases hit their population limits. A welcome reception will be held next sleep. The collective of former expeditionaires has made its best seaweed pie. Bring your own beverages. Oh, that's nice. So... We did this. And we, we ended up higher somewhere. I'm sure it was around here. It must have been around here. Oh, we went up the stairs. No, we went up the stairs and we saw- that's where we were. But how do we get back up there? Excellent question. I'm sure I'm missing something very painfully obvious. The ladder, of course. Okay. And then we can move on a ledge. did this. I guess we can take this now. Oh gosh. Hey. Let's jump! Ah, we got it, yeah. So, I had actually tried uncapping the FPS limit to see if it would help with the V-Sync tearing. Unfortunately, it has not. So, I'm just gonna go ahead real quick and cap that back at 60 FPS. It's a lot more stable if you cap at 60 FPS, despite the V-Sync tearing.
though there are some noticeable drops this time. Ooh, where is this? Just want to sail down. This is where we continue. Our main character with this extraordinary upper body strength. Put a bit on here just in case. Just in case. And we continue onward and upward. Oh gosh. On there. Ah, yeah, there we go. I really like the use of the, the seashells. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, pull down the bridge. And it looks like we're swinging again. Swinging again. Oh wait, it's a double tap. Oh, okay, that's what it... Okay, I get it. Uh, so it looks like we're heading over to there. Not quite. Here we go. The one here. It's a little far. There we go. Just had to get the right angle.
Do I need to jump for this? I hope not. I don't want to jump. Okay, good. I didn't have to jump. Ah! I thought that was a... I thought that was a ledge. Now there's a ledge. Preeti, I've never seen so many people coming down from the heights, and some are stopping in low tide. Maybe my situation's not so hopeless after all. The ocean provides for a patient heart, as my mother used to say. Maybe I'll finally manage to meet someone. It's been slim pickings here. Apart from old Yom, maybe? He makes my heart flip with his dimples, calloused hands, and that plaid shirt he always wears. Yom, the baker? I hope you're joking. I can never tell when you're pulling my leg. Anyway, I'm leaving for the tower too. Sorry, Bossa. I don't know how else to tell you. I wish we could clip our carabiners together like we used to before running aground on the old pier. I wish I could convince you to come with me, but that's how it is. I'm crewing up with the neighboring village. They found me a spot on one of their pebbles. We'll see each other somewhere down on the plain, won't we? Don't be angry with me. I'll miss your letters. Oh, that's sad. Mm. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Our little companion is way too frickin' cute. So cute. Oh, is that another circular structure? <laughs> Chapter three, solstice. Oh gosh, we can't even see. The the last circular structure. That's how Oh my god, we have so 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 much so much more climbing to do. By using Oh okay, we already know this one. I just want to take a look in here because I'm nosy. And I wanna do this. Ominous music. There we go. I would love to do this. <laughs> I've only been ziplining once. Uh, it was it was actually terrifying, but I did have fun once I got into it. It's just that initial that initial feeling of falling until your weight is uh, your weight is caught by the zipline. Uh, oh, I need to do a double jump. There's nothing that way. Oh, I think because we are in the heat. Yeah. 
Our stamina drops more quickly when we're in the heat. Let's put a baton here and rest. Oh, we're not that far, but still. Roots will wilt in the sun and disappear after a certain amount of time. Let's see how much time we have. Not long, actually. Oh, because those are in the shade. Okay, I get it. a lot. Another baton and relax. Get some of that stamina back. A lot of jumping in this spot. A lot of jumping. like to explore over th oh it looks like that's the way we're headed okay up we go let's see what we have in here A letter, perhaps? Logbook, 12 octaves and 2 seconds after the Jusson. We did it! I'm completely wrung out, but we made it in time to join the expedition. There weren't many of us there, barely a handful. Look how peaky the poor thing is. She's shaken like a sewing machine. I felt so far from home, but the tone was more encouraging than mocking. My efforts had been acknowledged and appreciated. I was too out of breath to reply, but a new emotion rose up inside me. I was proud. Proud to have made it this far. Still, still doubled over from the exertion, I looked around at the others. Everyone there had left everything behind to be there. They had a fire in their eyes, a desire to change things. And I was part of it. That's all it took to fill me with fresh energy. Arlo and Becca welcomed us to their sun-scorched farm with open arms. They were emotional and the mood was solemn. They are the last farmers left in these parts and they're the ones who put together this expedition. They've spent their entire lives trying and failing to fight the drought. Nothing grows on the cliffs anymore. In their own funny sounding words, not one measly plant grows in these here fields no more. I hope I'm not reproducing the Highland dialect too badly. Then Bekar told us about their wild scheme, setting off for the clouds to find water in the sky. At her words, a murmur rose up from the group. There was talk of how feasible the plan was, how best to go about it, which routes to take, and which sections to avoid. Arlo and Bekar want to find ballasts, as they're called lower down. Enormous creatures made of water that are said to live in the clouds. Ballasts only exist in sleep stories for children. Well, that's what I always thought before embarking on this adventure. They're Arlo and Bekar's last hope, and I'm starting to believe in them too. We may have a chance to save the tower. It's up to us to seize it. Well, it's getting exciting. So the the ballasts are the big versions of those little things. 
pretty, pretty cool. I would like to see them. I'm sure they'll be beautiful. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Okay. <sighs> so we gotta go all the way down and across. Oh, I got a cramp. Okay, put a... Okay, I got the baton. No worries, got the baton. Uh, let's grab these. Another baton here. Then it looks like we can carry on across. Actually, it looks like we might have to swing and get over to here. This one grow? Yeah, I can. So hopefully these are okay here. Since they're in the shade. I got it. I got it. Put a baton in there. Hold LT or RT to attach yourself to the relay. Oh, that's nice. So wait, how do I get off of the relay? Maybe like this? Yeah. This is such a pleasant game. Yeah, I really like this. Another contender. Already I know this is a contender for my personal game of the year. So far we have... Planet of Luna, definitely very high up there. Armored Core 6, again, very, very high up there. And now, Jusong. Whee! Hey, let's go over here. Whoa, that was, that was a bit too far. <laughs> that was definitely a bit too far. So, I'm just going to come down here first to see, can I do that without causing issues? Yes, I can. I love the freedom and the mobility here. It's very nice. Oh, but there's nothing in here. But still, it was nice to come down and have a look. A lot of freedom to roam here. Mm. Okay. Oh, we can bring these in now. Ooh, are these also ballasts? What are they? there? Crustaceans, maybe? But I don't know how the crustaceans are living without water. 
Oh, this used to be a bath. the views in this game. I wonder how far above sea level this actually is. Because if you imagine that that's the seabed, just depending on the depth, you know, we could be, I don't know, we could be anywhere. Entirely sure how to go about this next bit, but you know what? We're coming up on 26, 27 minutes, and this is a nice view to end the game on. Maybe when we come back, we'll be sitting on this ledge. So, if you are enjoying this let's play, if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day. Free Palestine. And I'll see you all back here next time. Goodbye for now.